You're going to be on video. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is what I've been doing on my weekends and why I haven't been uploading as much. Me and my mom's been setting up at the farmer's market, and this is what we've been selling. And no, they're not keto, unfortunately. But we've been working really hard on them. <laughs> and these are bowl, microwave bowl holders. My mom makes these. And then I've been baking cookies. But I wanted to show y'all. Y'all should really try out your local farmer's market for alternative foods and different things. You'd be surprised what's at a farmer's market. Like she is making little dresses and she sells fresh cut flowers. And then we have vegetables and non-keto tamales. <laughs> and she makes baked goods. And then we have soaps and things and uh, herbal things, bath bombs. But what I wanted to show you and what's really surprising is she is a new vendor. Texas Keto Baking Company. They have keto products. But almond blue baby. Okay, here. Or pound cake too. Almond blue Almond blue This is strawberry. And let me tell you, her booth has been very popular this morning. Well, Their booth. I was walking by and I said, I'm on a keto diet, I gotta keep walking. And then I Congratulations, so am I. <laughs> it's been 10 months. Thank you. And, and by the way, I have a YouTube channel, so you're now going to be on my YouTube channel if you don't mind. <laughs> if you do, then I'll blur, I'll blur you out. <laughs> okay, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Dawn from Texas Keto Baking. This is, I'm Sydney. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I think I found one more almond berry. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I, I was just telling everybody that y'all's booth has been really popular. We're so excited to be here. This is our first event, and we had no idea what to expect and how much to bake. We said, how many loaves do we bake? We had no idea. But it's just been so great just to talk to people about their keto journey. It is, yeah. And, like, you know, not only just the weight loss, but how you feel. For me, it was no more migraines, no more headaches. And that's why I stay on it. See, that's awesome. No. Yeah. The weight loss is great, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you explain what you bought? So we have uh, our apple cinnamon granola and our chocolate coconut granola. These are just nuts and seeds, so keto friendly. Oh wow, those um, look good. Biscuits. The chocolate, actually, the chocolate granola is really good and to use as a cereal if you miss having cereal. It's really good in any of your dairy uh, dairy free milks. Um, biscuits are almond flour, and then our sweets we have. Pound cake, almond blueberry, and lemon loaves. Those are all made with coconut flour. Our double chocolate zucchini, coconut flour. Our cupcake variety pack. This is our newest item. This has been really popular. Super sweet. So if you want something really, really sweet, we have ch uh, chocolate peanut butter, carrot cake, strawberry, and vanilla bean. And uh, we usually have hamburgers, but we sold out of those. Those are also <laughs> very popular. The hamburger buns are very popular. Um, we've had a lot of people tell us. I didn't think I could do keto long term, and then I found your hamburger buns, and now I can do it long term. <laughs> like a good hamburger. Right. Yeah, there's nothing like a good hamburger, especially exactly. this time of year. You know, you just want a good hamburger. Yeah. I say take, take, buy a pack of hamburger buns and take them to your friend's barbecue, and you'll just fit right in. You won't be that weirdo that's only eating the beef. Right. Beef patty. <laughs> that's for the flowers. This is awesome. Let me try one of yours. Let's see. Please try. What is this? That's the chocolate peanut butter cupcake. Oh, okay. Gotta try this. Oops. Well, I'm taking a car too because I just dropped icing on it. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. That is really good. Thank you. My sister came up with that peanut butter frosting recipe. I was like, oh man, you're just using this. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. so amazing. It's one of those I have to stop myself. Yeah, that that would be a downfall for me. I'd have to... <laughs> yeah, I'd have to add 
that. Well, that's why we sell everything in smaller packaging because, you know, even when you're doing keto, you have to do portion control. Yes. So we don't do big loads. We want, want to help people out with smaller portions. Well, thank you. It was really nice thank meeting you. you. It was nice to meet you. And uh, this should be uploaded sometime this next week. Okay. <laughs> we'll look yeah, I'm big on YouTube, so I'll definitely follow you. Okay, you that'd start. be awesome. I'd love to check you out. And I also have a uh, um, Facebook group okay. called uh, Keto Inspirations. Oh, good. And then uh, I post my videos, and then a lot of other keto YouTubers do the same thing. Okay. And we just got through with a, a meat collab, and I made chili. So there, that recipe's up there. Oh, yeah. So. I love chili. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's nice meeting you. you <laughs> okay, and so now we also have vegetables and local honey and look we've got soap over here and let me tell you it smells really good and then she has some jams and stuff too and then we have a local company that does ice cream hi you see me across the way all the time <laughs> how are you doing today i'm doing good my name, is, my name is Yolanda, and uh, I have a YouTube channel called Dirty Lazy Keto with Yolanda. So, wow! Awesome! <laughs> so, I've been I over here. I love that! Thank you. <laughs> but uh, tell me about your stuff. Okay, I make um, homemade ice cream. Uh, use organic milk, organic ingredients, local when possible, like the fruits, mm -hmm. that sort of thing, like the blueberries, blackberries. And, uh, have cons on our farm and stuff like that. So, and I make a bunch of different flavors. Have you ever thought about doing a keto version? Well, that's an idea. <laughs> I've been every time I see you, I was like, I want to ask her if she ever does keto <laughs> because I buy some at the Walmart or well, not uh -huh. Walmart doesn't really do it, but Brookshire's has some, and they're okay, but they put um, protein powder in it, oh, and I don't no. know if that's for consistency or something, but. I don't it like doesn't taste right. Exactly. Okay. I'll, let me uh, let me ponder that. Okay. <laughs> I will. Absolutely. But you can see I got all these great flavors. How are you? Good. <laughs> but yeah, I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. Come back. Okay. Thank you. And then we've got this lady. Hi. And they do this cool thing called bowl wraps. And what do you do? It was like, is it with beeswax or it paraffin? It's beeswax. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, you can put it, instead of saran wrap, you put it on top of your bowls and the, uh, the heat of your hands mm -hmm. will form it around the bowl. Mm -hmm. And since it's done with beeswax, of course, it's uh, waterproof. Mm -hmm. I it's know. also antibacterial because of the beeswax, so that's also super <laughs> helpful. It's easy cleanup. You just rinse it with cold water, stretch it back out, and you're ready to go. Again. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of examples right here. This one's just a small fruit bowl. You can wrap with one of the small wraps, or you could do things larger like pie dishes, cake pans. You can wrap up breads, cheeses, things like that if you don't have uh, another way to wrap it. Um, I have a YouTube channel called Dirty Lazy Keto with Yolanda, so I'm, I'm showing them what we do on the weekends and let them know that it's not just, you know, yeah. farmer's market, you know, That's what you so normally cool. expect, so. But yeah, my mom was telling me about this. I thought it was cool. Yeah, they're really neat. Okay, it was nice meeting you. And look. All farm fresh, and you know that it's picked here just, what, yesterday? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Instead of what, two weeks ago when you go to Walmart? Uh-huh. This is Gopher Knoll Farms, uh, organically grown. And over here is uh, Triple Oak Farm. Hi. So naturally grown. And he does some really awesome water. <laughs> uh, yeah. what was it cucumber and lemon? Yes. Yeah, that was really awesome. So you never know what you're going to come up with. I, I do a YouTube channel, so I'm awesome. showing everybody what I what we're doing in the weekends, and uh, we're, uh, it's called Dirty Lazy Keto with Yolanda. So I'm letting everybody know that Farmers Market has more than just you know what you normally think of, and yep. and that it's it's mostly local and fresh and stuff that you know Walmart just can't can't compare. So <laughs> yeah, 
But and people are coming out. Yes, they are. Oh, look at these awesome pickles. Okay, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, thank you. And then we have coffee. Hi. Hi. <laughs> And look at these melons. But stay away, they're not keto. <laughs> but the peas are. You can do peas. Or at least I do peas. Just in moderation. And then we have more. Hi. Wow, look at that tomato. That's a huge tomato. Are these peaches? <clears throat> yeah, look at that. Thing's uh, huge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it took me a week to eat that tomato. No kidding. Like that's like, you know, five <laughs> servings. <laughs> and then these are our neighbors. Hi. I mean, like literally right down the road from us. <laughs> um, I'm Yolanda. I think you met my mom. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. she has. <laughs> I have a YouTube channel called Dirty Lazy Keto with Yolanda. So awesome. You'll, you're now on YouTube, or you will be. <laughs> He's actually been on keto for a while. Oh, really? A couple weeks. I've been on it since August 28th. Yeah. And I've lost over 100 pounds. Wow. That's so, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. But, we, love, uh, we love butter in our coffee. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, I do that a couple of times, but I don't drink coffee that often. So, yeah. yeah but. How are you doing today? Uh, I mean, to well, oh, that's Please okay. Summer. You're doing good. <laughs> yes. And then we've got more. We have fresh eggs, and we also raised our own young chickens. Oh, And see, I want to show you somebody else. This lady, she does leather work. But what I thought was really fascinating is the first time we come here. Hi, another keto. <laughs> so this place is swarming with keto people. <laughs> but you never know what you're going to come up with. So, <laughs> and. And we come right back around to our booth. So I just want to let you know that you never know what you're going to come up with. And I think my mom's making a sale. Woohoo! All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye.